consumer information processing, perception, attention, and comprehension. How to ensure consumers notice, attend to, understand, and remember your marketing messages. Information processing consists of the mental process that is triggered by exposure to any kind of marketing information, such as an advertisement you hear on the radio, a product display you see at a local superstore, or a product sample you taste in the supermarket. Information processing consists of exposure, attention, comprehension, memory, and retrieval. For example, let's suppose you're watching an interesting video on YouTube and it is interrupted by an automobile ad. Upon exposure to the ad, if you do not close the YouTube window, you will attend to the ad, make sense of it or comprehend it, at which point the information contained in the ad message is being processed in short-term memory, and it may or may not make its way into long-term memory so that you can retrieve it later on when you are in the market for a new automobile. Seeing a stimulus is just one way we encounter information in our environment or world. We can obtain information through each of our senses, our vision, sound, taste, smell, touch. The information a consumer perceives in a stimulus, such as a YouTube ad, is composed of raw stimuli, including light waves, sound waves, colors, shapes, and movement. The information processing mechanism takes in this raw input and derives meaning from it. In fact, different people may assign different meanings to the same exact stimulus because each person's interpretation is shaped by their individual expectations, knowledge, experiences, and general background. It's as though each person has their own unique lens through which they see the world and interpret stimuli in their environment. Therefore, it's unrealistic to expect that all consumers who encounter your marketing message through your ad, through your product packaging, uh, contained in any other medium will receive exactly the same information and react to it similarly. It is like asking two diehard fans of opposing basketball teams or soccer teams how well they thought that the game was being refereed. Quite likely, the two will have very different views of the officiating because of their beliefs and their feelings about the outcome of that game. Market segmentation is an important tool marketers use to identify groups of consumers that will respond similar, similarly to the product, promotion, and other tactics pertaining to a particular marketing mix. Consumers will also vary in their motivation to process information from a given marketing stimulus, such as an ad, a product package, or a salesperson, due to differences in their level of involvement which is the level of perceived importance or self-relevance that the information has for the consumer. As that level of involvement increases, a person's motivation to process information also increases. This means that at higher levels of involvement, a consumer pays more attention to and thinks more deeply about the message being conveyed by a stimulus. The early stages of information processing, beginning with exposure to a stimulus, then attending to it and making sense of it or comprehending it, is referred to in cognitive psychology as perception. Perception involves a combination of physiological processes involving our senses through which raw stimuli, such as sound waves and color particles, are translated into something meaningful to the perceiver. To break it down, in the exposure stage, consumers receive information through their physical senses, such as sight, smell, and touch. In the attention stage, consumers focus their thinking on the stimulus and allocate their cognitive processing capacity to it. In the comprehension stage, they organize and interpret the information to derive meaning from it. In other words, the mind tries to make sense of the stimuli so it can be understood. 
Perception is an important gatekeeper within consumer information processing for marketing stimuli to effectively garner positive consumer responses. The first managerial question is how to get consumers to pay attention to a marketing message. To get consumers to pay attention to what they're trying to say, marketers must understand the exposure and attention stages of perception. Exposing consumers to a marketing message sounds simple enough. After all, advertisers spend millions placing commercials during the Super Bowl and product manufacturers pay a premium for prime shelf placement in stores. However, one characteristic of the exposure stage is that consumers selectively choose the information they want to be exposed to. This is referred to as selective exposure, which means that consumers actively choose whether or not to have sensory contact with information. This process is of major interest to advertisers because consumers' tendency to screen what information they will come in contact with drastically lowers the impact of advertising dollars. As a humorous yet somewhat costly anecdote, Consider the flush factor, which refers to the fact that during a major televised event, such as the Super Bowl, sanitation supervisors at water departments find that water consumption fluctuates dramatically during the televised event. Specifically, over a two to three minute period, you guessed it, commercial break time, water holding tanks would be drained and the system would be strained to capacity. This sudden increase in water usage corresponded with commercial break time because consumers left their TVs to rush to their bathrooms. The flush factor illustrates that consumers selectively avoid exposure to commercials by attending to other matters. Technological innovations make it very easy for consumers to select what their senses are exposed to. Digital TV programming makes it easy to zip past commercials and subscription digital programming allows for commercial free viewing. Movie theater previews, on the other hand, tend to overcome selective exposure since moviegoers want to find out about coming attractions. Movie theater commercials, on the other hand, are few and expensive, but tend to attract involuntary attention. However, movie theater owners are careful to avoid hard sell ads that may annoy customers. Social media is a high involvement medium through which consumers selectively expose themselves to brand messages. For example, several years ago, Doritos ad campaign called Goat for Sale, which featured a snack loving man's relationship with his snack loving pet goat, involved consumers in a competition in which amateurs made hundreds of ads and customers selected a finalist using Facebook. The video was watched millions of times on Facebook after the Super Bowl.